It's no secret that whenever an anomaly pops up on radar of a conflict organization, they send a containment team to suppress, contain, and transport them out of sight. It's these procedures and actions of an organization that shows their level of knowledge, technical expertise, and advancements in their field. But the processes of simply stamping and labeling them into a category varies between institutions. Conflict organizations these days often use a classification system to appropriately assign and identify anomalies, usually classifying them under containment but often can include the threat level. Most of these conflict organizations have a varying degree on how they approach, assess, and, most importantly, define what they are. Both the SCP Foundation and the RPC Authority use their own unique classification system to identify and define their anomalies in terms of the containment difficulty. With the exception of the RPC Authority, which uses a color discriminator to distinguish an anomaly's lethality rating. For a short summary of the RPC's lethality rating, here's the spectrum I've shown previously. Each color represents the danger, and as you go above one, it becomes much, much more dangerous. Let's compare the object classes of the SCP Foundation and the RPC Authority. But before we get into comparing and contrasting, let's talk about the Foundation's object class as I've already covered the Authority's counterpart in the previous video. Whilst there are other object classes out there that now accumulate a total of 50 object classes, I'll only be mentioning the ones within the object class page. But what about the Anderson Coherency Scale? Well, for the most part, I'll be only sticking to... <laughs> Sorry, I, I mean the Anomaly Classification System, ACS, sorry about that, which is the proposed version of the object class, but again, I'll only be sticking to the current object class as the ACS system is not that simplistic as you may see it, as it gets very... Uh, confusing. If you want to learn more about the other object classes not mentioned here, check out SCP Illustration's video, which I'll be linking above. So, the SCP Foundation uses the object class for, quote, the purposes of identifying containment needs, research priority, budgeting, and other considerations. It's a bit unusual in a way, because they don't explicitly define object classes as determining the containment difficulty, but rather basing it off of on these, quote, considerations. They do mention the containment difficulty as part of that definition, but more so constructed under as an important factor. But for now, let's just define it as determining the containment difficulty for the purpose of this video. In the object class, they have the primary class. Within this primary class, we have Safe, Euclid, Keter, Keter, whichever you want to pronounce it, Thamuel, Neutralize, Apollyon, and Archon. These are the five official, non-canon, object classes within the SCP Foundation, but what do they exactly mean? Let's go over them quickly. Safe are for anomalies that are easily and safely contained. Euclid are for anomalies that require more resources to contain completely or where containment isn't always reliable. Keter are anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with contained procedures often being extensive and complex. Thaumiel are for anomalies that are used to contain another anomaly. Neutralized are for anomalies that are, well, neutralized. Apollyon are for anomalies that cannot be contained, are expected to breach containment imminently, or some other similar scenario. Archon are for anomalies that could be theoretically contained, but are best left uncontained for some reason. You'll start noticing some similarities to the RPC Authority's object class system if you're aware with it, but there are three specific object classes here that don't quite fit the containment difficulty definition, those being Neutralized, Thamuel, and Apollyon. Neutralized shouldn't be under this category for a lot of reasons, but one of those reasons is that it doesn't really determine containment difficulty. Thamuel, on the other hand, is a unique case. Whilst I understand to a degree as to why it should be here as it, quote, contains other anomalies, it doesn't really explain how difficult it is to contain a Thamuel anomaly. So how am I supposed to know how difficult it is to contain a Thamuel anomaly when I just know it just contains other anomalies? It's quite vague, and we've had something similar to this in the RPC Authority site where we downgraded Theta, our version of Thamuel, to utility as the definition of containment difficulty wasn't there. And lastly, Apollyon. It's a sort of a mixture of containment difficulty and threat level to begin with. Sure, it fits under the containment difficulty definition, but the addition of it being representation for the end of the world is quite unorthodox. Now let's compare and contrast these with the RPC's object class. Safe is alpha, easy to contain. Euclid is beta, difficult to contain. Keter is gamma, very difficult to contain. 
Thaumuel is utility, uses as anomaly to contain anomaly or is beneficial. Neutralized is, well, neutralized, but both have different definitions. One common thing they have is that the anomaly's property is inert. Archon is a unique class, so there's nothing to equal it to an RPC object, but the closest RPC class would be Gamma, I guess. And lastly, Apollyon is Omega, impossible to contain. One thing to note about Apollyon is that technically it would be an Omega Black in RPC terms, meaning that it's impossible to contain and capable of causing an end-of-world scenario. Speaking of the color black, the SCP Foundation doesn't use a color discriminator to identify and represent the threat level of an SCP. However, there is one under the SCP International branch known as the Threat Levels. While this isn't anything canon or official, some writers have used it in their work, but I'm not going to do a comparison between the RPC's lethality and the SCP's threat levels. What sets apart between the object classes of SCP and RPC is that RPC is much more focused in clearing its definition of assessing anomalies in both threat and containment rating. Each of the object classes from Alpha to Omega provide a consistent and appropriate containment measures. On the other hand, the Foundation uses extraordinary considerations that are much more than just containment difficulty, from budgeting to identifying containment needs. Containment difficulty is an important factor as noted, but additional factors such as the ones mentioned create unnecessary assessments and processes to simply determine object class for an SCP. But at the end of the day, it's up to the researcher or writer to determine appropriately the containment status of an anomaly, as it may save someone's life when they encounter an SCP during circumstantial events.